Uh, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Endicott College, I want to welcome all of you here today to this wonderful event. Uh, I'd first like to take a moment and introduce some of the, the dignitaries that are here with us today, uh, some of whom will be speaking a little later. Mayor Mike Cahill. Where's Mike? Thank you. Oh, right up there. Former Mayor Bill Scanlon. City Council President Paul Guanzi. Ward 5 City Councilor Don Martin. And Ward 1 Councilor David Lang. And I'm not sure if they're out there, but I know that they're, if not, they're on their way. Uh, State Senator Joan Lovely, State Rep Jerry Paracella. And we also have with us, I believe, uh, Governor Paul Salucci's wife, Jen, who shares some history here. Jen, thank you. And we also have uh, a number of the trustees uh, that are present here today. Uh, and I thank them for joining us uh, on this beautiful day. It's a great pleasure for me personally to be here to, you know what, I forgot one city councilor, John Frades. <laughs> he, he gave me that look, so. The, um, yeah, it's a great pleasure for me personally to be here today uh, to dedicate this building. Uh, I've known Pete Frady since he was a, a, a little boy. Uh, watched him play on the Little League fields and the other playing fields of Beverly growing up. Played football with one of my sons at St. John's Prep. And just always a leader. Just a, a, a wonderful guy. He's a couple years older than, than my, my son. And always a, somebody that the, all the other kids looked up to and still look up to. Pete Frades demonstrates all the values that we want to encourage our students and the folks here at the Endicott community to emulate. Courage in the face of adversity. Staying with the program no matter what. Innovation, innovation in the face of adversity. It's, these, are, these are all the things that we so much want to have our students here at Endicott emulate. And it's really wonderful to have a, a tangible evidence of that, this beautiful building, the, the unbelievable mural there of Lou Gehrig with Pete. Uh, just, it, it's amazing, they look like twins there. Even the, 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 uh, the expression on their faces is almost exactly the same. We here at Endicott want to thank Pete and the Frady's family for allowing us to do this, to be a small part of the wonderful Pete Frady's story. It is one that will always live in our hearts and our minds, and we thank you. At this point, representing the student body, I'd like to introduce Kristen, Christina Tabaka. Christina. Good afternoon. It is my honor to be the student speaker at this wonderful dedication ceremony. This past week, I had the opportunity to hear Nancy Frady speak at Endicott's Class of 2020 Convocation Ceremony where she shared with the new members of our community her family's struggle with ALS. She reflected on the day her son, Pete, was diagnosed with the disease and how that night, Pete told his family that his diagnosis was not an end, but the beginning of an opportunity. Pete's decision to view his diagnosis in this light allowed the Frady's family to begin their pursuit of increasing funding and awareness for this terrible disease through the Ice Bucket Challenge. When I think of an ideal leader I would want to follow, my mind thinks of Pete Frades. Instead of surrendering, he decided to step up to the plate and take action by fighting this incredible challenge. 
He became the team captain of his family and reassured them that a positive attitude, determination, and passion for a cause you believe in can go a long way. I know the members of the Endicott community will benefit from the addition of this residence hall, as the Frady's name is now and will forever be a symbol of hope. This building will remind us all that although we may face challenges and face challenges that appear insurmountable, if we change our perspective on the situation, we may be surprised what we can accomplish. We can all learn from Pete. Therefore, I challenge you all to find inspiration in his actions and character, to find ways to not only improve yourself, but the world around you. Thank you, Pete Frades, for changing the world. It is an honor to have Pete and his family here. Dedications really do mean something. We became acquainted with the Frady's family when Nancy Frady's, Pete's mother, gave the baccalaureate address a few years back. Pete joined us on the campus that day. His story and positively inspired us to proclaim the next building constructed on campus would be named for Pete Frades. The chairman of the board heard that for the first time at that, uh, at that moment. He looked at me and he said, when, do the, when does the board of trustees get to name buildings? I said, after I do. That building turned out to be our new 225-bed residence hall. We count ourselves very lucky to welcome the Frates family into our community with this dedication. Pete is a role model and an inspiration that will be in our hearts and will influence generations of college students at Endicott forever. Also at the groundbreaking, I turned to their daughter and I said, you will have a scholarship for room, board, and tuition at Endicott anytime you want to come. And they said to me, will it have number three on the door? Pete's number. And I would like to give her her first door. Oh. And I'm going to go over there and give it to her. At this time, I want to introduce Nancy and John, the inspiration for all of us, with our love and respect and great care. Well, thank you, Dr. Wiley. Board of Trustees, administrators, staff, and students for the incredible honor of naming this beautiful, lasting honor in Pete's uh, legacy. You know, he's received an awful lot of attributes and tributes and honors, but nothing of a permanent nature such as this. So we thank you forever. It's in recognition of the inspiration that is our son, Pete Frades. When Pete, at 27 years old, was diagnosed with ALS in March of 2012, the doctors advised him to conserve his energy and live out quietly and comfortably the remaining two to five years. Now, this is a guy who had just hit home runs six months ago around Boston. Pete shouted, forget that, or something with an F word like that. <laughs> 
He put himself out there. He understood the nuances and the strategy behind social media that we now all take for granted and used it all for good and for change and to prove that one man can make a huge difference in this world. No one should have to suffer from ALS, and thanks to Pete, no, uh, soon no one will ever have to suffer again. So last week, as uh, we heard, as part of the convocation, we were honored to, uh, to be a part of it and for a 1,000 students to hear Nancy speak. And we heard a number of other F words about this amazing, beautiful campus, such as faculty and facilities. And I want to add now a third one, which is Frades, Pete Frades. And in the future, we have another gull coming up, little Lucy Frades. So anyway, thank you so much for this incredible honor, and go gulls. So first of all, from our family, and especially Pete, Julie, and Lucy, thank you all for being here. It's such an exciting day for our family, but not just our family, but for the community of Beverly and for our beloved Endicott College. I'm so proud to stand here today in front of Pete Frady's Hall, named in honor of our son, a young man who took on a challenge, looked at it as an opportunity, dedicated himself to it and forever changed the trajectory of a disease while greatly impacting and inspiring the lives of so many. Our family's hope is that the building's residents find inspiration, enlightenment, friendship, and great learning within its walls. That the legacy of Pete, his character, his leadership, his courage and his determination radiates through them as they embark on this most important chapter in their lives. We are full of joy and hope, so grateful and so honored to be with all of you today. Thank you, Endicott family. The pride and love we feel today will be carried in our hearts forever. Thank you, everyone, for being here from my whole family. It's spectacular. Thank you for honoring us. We are indeed in uh, indebted to you with our gratitude. At this time, I would like to introduce the Honorable Michael Cahill, the Mayor of the City of Beverly. Mayor Cahill. Thank you, Dr. Wiley. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, since Tom uh, acknowledge some of our local elected officials earlier, a couple that I've seen that he, uh, I have seen that I think he might have missed. Uh, city Councilor at Large Matt St. Hilaire and Ward 4 City Councilor Scott Hausman are also both with us. We already got him. Thanks. And uh, thank you all for being here uh, in honor of Pete and in honor of our, our colleague in government, John Frades. Um, so I, I want to give a few thank yous. First is to Dr. Wiley the Endicott Board of Trustees and the Endicott College community for recognizing the courage and the accomplishments of Peter and Julie Frades and their families, the accomplishments they've made to our shared community of Beverly and to so many communities the world over. And I have to say, uh, I appreciate this, Dr. Wiley, on behalf of the whole community, but I'm not at all surprised because you get it, Tom and your Board of Trustees get it. And just like Pete did so many times and at Fenway Park in the Bean Pot, you really hit it out of the park by acknowledging and honoring Peter. Um, I want to thank everyone involved in making this dormitory a reality in a matter of months, including Endicott's partners in designing and building this beautiful Frades Hall and the hard work of many of our city employees in working hand-in-hand -hand with the college. Thanks to so many 
Frady's Hall will help Endicott College to continue to provide a world-class education and an unforgettable college experience for countless young women and men for generations to come. Most important, I want to thank Peter and Julie and Lucy Frady's and your whole amazing family. Pete and Julie, we know that when you met and fell in love and began to look at your life together, you never would have expected this to be your path. And yet, when Pete was diagnosed with ALS, your true character and that of your families was revealed. You are not only good people, which your, which your loved ones have already known, but you are great people. Peter and Julie and your families, you are all heroes. You have taken this horrible disease. You have insisted on living every day with all your hearts and with all your strength. And Peter and Julie, you have inspired millions. You have brought hope to millions. You have brought amazing advances to fighting ALS. You have led a movement that truly is changing the world. Not many people truly impact the world. You, Peter and Julie Frades, and your families and friends have. You have put ALS on the world map. You have made and are making this world a better place for so many every day. So as mayor of this city of Beverly, our home, I want to say that we, your neighbors and friends, are inspired by you. We are proud of you. We are in awe of you, of your greatness and of your strength and power. So as we dedicate Peter Frady's Hall in your name today, Peter, Julie, Lucy, and all the Frady's family, we thank you and we ask God to look over you and to bless you always. Now the truth, not that yours wasn't the truth, Mayor. I want to qualify that. This building did not start until November. And I turned to Lee Delicker and Windover and his team and said, can you get it done for September? Lee Delicker has never said no. It is my privilege to introduce to you the president of Windover Construction, who made this happen in record time because the cause was so worthy. Lee Delicker. Thank you very much, Doc. On behalf of my entire Windover team, I want to thank Dr. Wiley, the Endicott Board of Trustees, Dennis Monaco, the Endicott staff, faculty, and students for the trust that they've placed in Windover over the last several years. We are proud to be part of building the legacy here at Endicott. We stand proud to have been part of this project, Frady's Hall, a building built to honor the courage and conviction of a great man, Peter Frady's. The building is a culmination of the talent of our team, the talent of our architect, Samasto Verbridge, led by my good friend, Thad Samasco, the team at Meridian Engineering, all our hardworking subcontractors, a very strong working relationship with the city of Beverly, starting with its great mayor right down to each individual staff person, and the vision and determination of Dr. Wiley and the Endicott board. To the entire Frady's family, on behalf of everyone at Windover, thank you for teaching us the awareness of what is important in life. Family, friends, kindness, generosity and determination. We are all very, very proud of you. Thank you. He didn't tell you that every day I called him and said, are you sure? <laughs> Finally, he stopped answering my phone calls. At this time, I would like to introduce Pamela Droney, assistant to the president, a bit longtime Beverly resident for her comments and her belief in all that you're doing. So Pamela Droney, please. Good afternoon. 
When do we get a chance to celebrate and honor a man who took adversity and turned it into a challenge for the world? Today we honor a hero, a legend, and inspiration. From hometown Beverly to Boston Co College, around the world and back again, P. Frades has shown us courage and determination. He asks us to pick up his torch and spread the word. I can do anything if I really want to. We can choose to ignore the challenges of life. We can say we were dealt a bad hand, but think. Think if Pete had done that. As a longtime Beverly resident whose daughters went to school with Pete, we are honored to be a small part and make sure your journey will always be remembered. It is a journey that continues to make a difference. Thank you. To conclude this part of the dedication, and there's more to come, I would like to introduce Brandy Johnson, the Dean of Students. And I just want everyone to know, I didn't wear my good suit because if it got wet, it might shrink more <laughs> than I can get into. So my apologies for wearing a jacket that may be a little out of season. Brandy Johnson, Dean of Students. Good afternoon, everyone. So the sun is shining, like shine shining, no clouds in sight. And here's the time for a real celebration. We have celebrated, we've seen the unveiling, and now we would really like to honor Pete with what we think is going to be the largest ice bucket challenge I think that the world has seen, but we'll definitely say that the North Shore has seen. There are thousands of students in the back ready to honor you, Pete. gathering of Endicott students here today mean to you? Well, you know what? Um, this is such a, an amazing honor and legacy for Pete and our family. Uh, he's gotten so many great awards, right? Sports Illustrated Man of the Year. Uh, he's got, he's won Emmys. He's won this Cons Lion. But this is a lasting permanent structure in his honor uh, for the inspiration that he was uh, for the Ice Bucket Challenge. It changed social media. Uh, it changed the way philanthropy is done and now there's real evidence that the money that was raised over 220 million dollars is actually working to find a cure. When did you become aware of the Ice Bucket Challenge itself and when it went viral and everything? What was your initial reaction to that? Well, it's funny because I'm not, you know, as you can tell, I'm a little bit older than you guys, so I'm not as socially conscious, uh, social media aware, and I get a call from my son Andrew saying, hey, 
why aren't you on your Facebook? You've got to do this thing called an ice bucket challenge. And this was in late July of 2014 because I had been challenged. Okay, so I brought Pete out in the backyard. We did one. And next thing you know, the Bruins players are doing it, Patriots players. And then it went all over New England. And then the nation, entertainment did it in the third week. And then the world did it in the fourth week. So it was the most incredible experience of our life. We're glad we could, we're glad we could help make that impact. Thank you for talking to us. Well, you guys just did, if I'm not mistaken, the largest ice bucket challenge ever recorded. So hats off to you guys. What a, tribute, a fitting tribute to uh, Pete and our family. So thank you very much, Gulls. So can you tell me a little bit about what you came here to do today? Um, we came to do the ice bucket challenge for um, Pete Frady's and we all got together. There were like 2,000 of us and we got to dump these buckets of water on our head. It's pretty cool. What does it mean to you to be able to be a part of such an amazing thing and being the school with the most people to ever have done the ice bucket challenge all at the same time? Honestly, it was pretty cool. I never really realized how big it was until I heard about this event um, and it's really, really just like I feel grateful to be able to meet him and his family today and do something that is for a great cause. So I'm here with Doc Riley, president of Endicott College. Doc, where did you get the idea to first of all build Freddy's and also gather all these students here today to do the Ice Bucket Challenge? Well, I met Nancy and uh, Pete a number of years ago and it was such a story. And we named things for people that nobody knows who they are. We wanted to tell a story about a man who took a challenge and did the right thing, so this was easy. How do you think being here today impacted the Endicott community? I think it impacts us because we see a person that's had adversity and turned it around, and he's a role model. And I hope we all remember this day because sooner or later ALS will be cured along with cancer and other things because people care. Well, on behalf of Endicott students, I just wanted to thank you for giving us the opportunity to do this today. It means a lot to us that we get to show him how much we care. Uh, you should have seen his face when he came out here. He was, it was beyond uh, imagination for him. So uh, we're great thankful. Great to see. Thank you thank very you. much, Doc. Take care.